All right, everybody, welcome to the wood shop. So the project today is right here in front of my shop pad. This is where it ends and where I pull in the four wheelers and the lawnmowers and the cars sometimes change oil, stuff like that. You can see a lot got a little bit of a problem here. Now this is winter and so nothing's really growing, um, but this has always been an issue with this dirt here. Um, Debated about putting concrete. Um, we've poured concrete here before uh, for a pad, but I hate to put concrete here because a lot of water comes this way down the hill. Um, and so what I've decided to do is to put in a DuPont ground grid. So let me show you that. All right, so this is the DuPont ground grid. Um, it is approximately four feet by 25 feet, but it's in meters, so it works out to be a little different. We'll just have to see how that goes. Now, as you can see in the picture here, you spread the ground grid out and you fill the cells, um, or I'm filling the cells with gravel. Uh, you can also fill it with dirt um, and plant grass or various things. Um, so the whole purpose behind this is, is to stabilize the ground. And so we'll go over this, but basically you dig it out and lay down the, if you've never seen this before, you lay it down a little bit lower than the ground level, and then you fill the cells up. And like I said, you can fill it up with other things. I'll be filling it up with gravel, and I'll show you that in just a second. And we'll get into this as we go. I'll try not to make this too long because i got a lot of digging to do. Okay, so the ground grid is... Um, was $170, I'd call you $175 with everything. And again, that's four feet by 25 feet. Uh, so, and it is, you can cut it, so I'll be cutting that, and I'll show you that in just a moment. Um, and also, I'll be running mine eight feet by basically 12 and a half ish um, down. Okay, so, word about the gravel. Um, they say don't use pea gravel, you need to use something. Uh, that's got a little bit of grip to it because if not the the ground grid will slide uh, so this is number five in my area of Georgia we have a lot of this um, and this is number five this may be just a hair on the small side but it was what was readily available to me uh, this is 10 tons and it was $275 for the guy to dump it right here um, so that gives you an idea. I don't, I don't need near 10 tons, but uh, for the, to get the guy to do it, it was better to just get him to get, bring me half a load. I only need roughly about two tons, but around here I got places to put other, just giving you an idea. Okay, so this will be much like uh, digging out for a concrete pad. Um, I actually just have to go around and dig this out. Um, the ground grid is two inches, so we'll go a little more than two inches um, because it's supposed to be below the ground level. It's not supposed to, you're not supposed to see the grid. It's supposed to be below, so we'll, you know, go anywhere from two and a quarter to two and a half, which is basically the thickness of a standard brick, so that kind of gives you an idea of how thick that is. So basically, I just got to dig all this out. All right, so this is a several hours later. I've not worked on this the whole time, but I have worked on it a while. Um, so this is dug out. Now this is just rough dug out um, to level, uh, to, to a certain level that just kind of where it fell out. Now what I'm going to do next is I'm, I've got a tiller, rototiller, and I'm going to till this out and loosen up this really hard stuff, especially right in here where it's a little bit high. And um, then that will give me a way to get that off now the thing that I've always I've read about this stuff is it doesn't have to be um, it can have a little bit of irregularity but what you don't want to do is have it too high where the ground grid is actually up um, above the ground level um, because that will destroy it uh, so you want it down low um, and it doesn't have to be level it just needs to be pretty flat from what I've read I'm not an expert on this this is the first time I've ever done this. Uh, but it stands to reason you want it pretty flat so that the ground contacts it and you don't have a hump and gravel gets under the grid. So we want good good contact with the ground. Okay, so that's the next step I'm gonna take is till this up and then work on flattening this out some more. 
All right, so I'm back at it this morning. Uh, you may see something over here. I had to put a little drain in on this side, which really didn't um, have any effect on this part, but just put a little drain there. So if you see that, uh, I've got my gravel ready, uh, the first scoop of gravel ready, and now I've got to work on pulling this out and then cutting it and doing the other side. And we got cat today. Okay, so let me turn you around here a little bit. Okay, so um, you can see here that um, I'll need to cut this here, which I knew that that's, was the plan. I'll cut this, and then I'll take that half and put it over there. And as you can see, I did have to do, I needed a few more spikes than I thought I needed. Um, I don't know how, really how you would do that without that. So I need to put a couple more there with that. And so what I'll do now is, like I said, I'll cut this here and then add this section back over here. And then when we start putting the gravel on, we need to add it in the corners, different places, because again, we want the ground grid on the ground flat. We don't want gravel to get under it because then that's gonna push it up. So we've got to have good contact with that. So right now I'm just gonna cut this and then lay it all back out and I'll bring you back. Okay, so you kind of see we've made a little progress here. I've got um, a little bit on the edges, put a little bit of gravel just to hold it in. Um, what I learned is if you kind of lay the shovel down and then kind of tip it, that'll push it down and then you'll have gravel. I gotta do a little bit of work here, kind of get this in. Uh, next step is to use a stapler and to staple these edges together where the where they come together. Uh, you can staple it, they said, and it kind of helped hold it together. I don't know that I'll do all of it, but if I could get the edges on there. Also, another note is if you have to walk across it, you, you need to get a board and lay it out and walk on the board. Uh, don't walk on this because you'll crush it. All right, well, there you have it. I don't know how many scoops that was. I lost count. Um, probably six, five, six, I'm trying to think, five, probably five. Um, so there it is. It's a little, I tried to leave it kind of lumpy and I think I'll probably have to add more later uh, once it settles, um, cause you're supposed to roll it. Um, and I'm sure getting rained on and kind of packed with that uh, again this is the first time i've ever done this um and i haven't even tried that yet so you know what we got to try it right here let's just try it see what happens what's the worst that could happen So how about that? Can't even hardly say I rolled over. Just a little bit. But I think once you pack it down, back and forth. So anyway. All right. So anyway, I appreciate everybody stopping by the wood shop, checking out my project, and I hope it holds up. If it doesn't, it's definitely user error. So from the wood shop, everybody, take it easy.